All right, so let's take the rook off the board. And so what are we going to do with the bishop? Well, we could see if the squares are all even, like... Oh, okay. So does it? do you think the squares are all completely even? No, because here oh. the bishop has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves. Uh-huh. But here the bishop has one, two, three, four, five, seven. But it does also have seven moves. Well, let's do it with the bishop always being on the same color. So... Because you, you can't have a bishop yeah. go from here to here. So... Uh, so on, on the corner, on, on the, the corner, corner, it has seven. Okay, and let's be systematic about it. Maybe I can look here. Okay, how many does it have there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Hmm. And then that's just this square here is just a mirror. All right. And so, so what can what have we discovered so far? So it's seven on the edges. Ah, okay. So on the edges, it's going to always be seven. Okay, so let's move up one inside. Here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then also and nine. nine. Okay. So, so <coughs> on the middle, it's sort of looking, well, on this like, next to edge, sort of looking like we have nine, but right. let's check a few more. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. But then this is a mirror, and that's a mirror. Or, the, no, this, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this square isn't the same as all of the three others. Well, that's on the edge. Ah, so. that's on the edge. Mm. So what squares have we found that have nine? We found one, two, three, so far. Okay. And then probably by symmetry, um, these two, these three, and these two will also have so just the square. The nine. Square. Okay. So the square moving one in has nine. So we have seven on the outside, and that's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, I didn't know where I started counting. Huh. Here, I'll put my finger here. So how many have seven? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 have 7. How many have 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 10 All and right. 9. What are we going to look at next now? So, this ring here. Okay. So, where can you go from here? You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 11 moves. Ooh, wow. And that's the square that's two in, so that's here. Okay, and how many positions are there there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Maybe I should write some of this down on our whiteboard. So we had 14 on the outside, is that right? Um, yep, 14 had seven. So we have 14 times seven. How many did we have times nine? Um, we had ten. Well, let's count, count, yeah. count the ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Nine. And then here we have 6. 6 have um, four, 14. Mm. Count. I think it works. 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 11. Okay. So then the middle 2. Yeah, the middle 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13. And then the other one has 13 too. Okay. So now we should. How many how many squares should we have counted up here? This should be um, six, sixty four, or this should be thirty two squares because we counted only the black squares. Okay, so we have fourteen plus ten plus eight. Does that get us to thirty two? It does. All right. So what's fourteen times seven? Um, that would be ninety eight. Ninety eight. Ninety eight. Ninety. Ninety. Um, sixty six and twenty six. 26. 66 and 26. All right, so that's uh, 188 plus 92. Mm -hmm. 92. So it's going to be 280. Yep, and then... So for our stationary dis distribution of bishops, we would have 280 bishops. Well, do we have to double this because of the white squares? Well, a bishop is never going to go... 
from a black square to a white square uh, or a white square to a black square. It always stays on True. one color. It always stays on one color. So if I start a bishop on the outside ring, how many squares did it have? How many, how many bishops were on the outside ring um, on each one of our squares? Seven. Seven. So we would have seven over 280. That's one fortieth. Yeah. So. So on average, roughly forty moves from. On, on average, forty moves. This, in forty moves, this bishop would be back to where it is here. Right on forty random moves. In any of these positions, but it normally starts here. Yeah, and what about if we put it in the center square instead? So. Yeah. How many places could it go from there? Do you remember? Well, we have 13 bishops. So, and yeah. it could, it goes 13. Yeah. But this is weird because it's not, it's not an integer. Yeah, so 13 over 280. And we have to just so, take the reciprocal, right? Ooh, am I on the screen? Probably not. Um, barely. 13 over 280. So, 280 over 13, well, that's going to be 260, we get you to 26, right? So Sorry, 260, we get you to 20, and then we have to go 20 more. So this is about 21 in a little bit. Yeah. So a little oh, you're more, right, it's not an integer. Yeah, a little more than 21 moves. A little more than 21 moves on average. And you were surprised that that wasn't an integer. Does it need to be an integer? No, because it's an average. So, like, the average of two integers could, could be a non-integer. Like, that's right. the average of... Um, let's say two and three. Yeah. Two and a half. Yeah. So a little over 21 moves from the middle, but 40 moves from the outside. So it takes a rook actually more moves on average to get back to where it started than it does a bishop. Does well, that surprise you? No, because the bishop is restricted on what squares it can go to. And it also has favored squares in the middle. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, great work, guys. That was a really fun problem.